What's up, YouTube? Singly Unlucky here. And today we have probably one of the most nostalgic videos we've ever done. But first, I want to ask you guys to check out the channel, subscribe for more epic, classic Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And also, please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoy the content. So this video, you guys, is a very special video. That McDonald's pack that we had from our uh, video for the Turbo Pack opening, it was, it was insane, made me think, what if we opened all packs from 2002? So check this out, you guys. This is from 2002. As you guys can see, this is the Konami logo before 2003. So I, have a, I didn't have a magic roller booster pack. I did my best. We have a 2003 or four Konami spell ruler pack here today. But I just want to show you guys the difference in the logo there. So these are legit 2002 booster packs. If we had the 2002 tournament pack two booster, um, we would have had all of them here today, but we have tournament pack one. That's okay. Still very classic, still extremely valuable. Uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. But this is... Legend of Blue Eyes from 2002, Metal Raiders from 2002, Spell Ruler, and then a Pharaoh's Servant Booster Pack from 2002 with that McDonald's Booster Pack. And then we do have that Tournament Pack Season 1. This is the first Tournament Pack ever made, you guys. This is 2002 Yu-Gi-Oh! Are you guys ready? Okay, so this video is going to be unedited, you guys. I wanted to just flow with you for this classic opening. I have no idea what's gonna happen. I have no idea what we're gonna get. Hopefully we didn't get any searched or weighed packs. It is a little bit easier for those classic ones, um, but I'm very excited and I think we're gonna have to take a few whiffs, a few whiffs of these classic cards. All right, you guys, here we go. This is it. So we're gonna go down the line here and we're gonna start with a Pharaoh's Servant Booster Pack. This is the Jinzo Booster Pack, and um, wow. We may do a bundle for this one, simpleandlucky.com as well, you guys. And we aren't gonna bring out sleeves for this either because I just don't wanna damage the cards like by putting them in the sleeve at all. So here we go. 2002 Booster, first pack. Let's take a whiff. Wow, wow, that is 18 years ago. Wow. Oh my gosh, that is classic Yu-Gi-Oh. Woo! Here we go. Um, one foil out of, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's about the ratio for the classic pack. So we're hoping for one foil at least. Um, it'd be insane if we get two. Godly if we get any more than that. Here we go. Mystic Probe. Wow, you guys, look at the, just look at the classicness of these cards. You can hear, you can hear how old they are. Mystic Probe, Solomon's Law Book. Wow. Deep Sea Warrior. You can just tell by the art as well. You know, cards don't really look like this anymore. DNA Surgery. That is actually very valuable from 2002. Nice Dimension Hole. It's funny. I used to always look at this card and be like, how is that useful? Also, I used to look at it and be like, is that, is that an eyeball? I was very confused. Remove one monster on your side of the field from play until your next standby phase. This card still counts towards the five card monster zone limit. Okay. Then we have seven complete. Look at that. Seven complete. Attack, defense, attack. Enchanted Javelin. Overdrive, the all-terrain armored vehicle armored, armed with a heavy-duty machine gun and numinous healer. And yes, yes, we're going to take our time with these booster packs, you guys. Okay, we're going to move it into a spell ruler. No, let's do a, oh my gosh, I can't believe we're opening this for a freaking video. This is a tournament pack one, first season booster pack with the Konami symbol. Let's do it. Okay, rares, guys, rares in this set are worth like 15 plus dollars near mint. Rares, commons are like five to ten dollars. Supers, we're talking hundreds of dollars. Ultras, like I think there's only one five hundred plus dollars mechanical chaser. I think if we can get a rare, I would be happy. I don't think you're guaranteed rares. Here we go. This is the first tournament pack. Oh man, 
Here we go. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I've ever opened one of these on camera for you guys before. These cards practically look fake. Wing Dragon Guarding the Fortress number two. The monster's wings are capable of generating tornadoes. Oh my gosh, they're so old. Giant flea, a massive flea that feeds on the blood of enemies. And Kuwagata. Oh my, guys, this is literally, my hands are shaking a little bit. This is the oldest Yu-Gi-Oh cards. A very vicious stag beetle that goes for the head. Wow. I think the average value of booster packs from tournament pack one are about um, 50 ish dollars i think oh my gosh okay so this is a spell ruler booster pack we're about to open here this one is not one of the classic ones uh, from the 2002 boosters but it's still very old i think this is a 2004 booster still very old okay can we get a foil you guys flash assailant turtle oath Twin Long Rods number two, the amphibious creature with two whip-like tails. Chorus of Sanctuary, nice. Giant Germ, that's great. A very popular card back in the day. I think it even made it till the chaos time of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Still pretty dang good. Dealt damage and you get to summon more Giant Germs. Giant Germ. Stone Ogre Grotto, Chain Energy, High Tide Geogen, and Boar Soldier. Crazy. Crazy, you guys. Three more booster packs left. I don't want to open the McDonald's yet. I think we're going to have to go into a Metal Raiders booster pack. Oh my gosh. This is a 2002 Metal Raiders booster pack. I think this is when I started playing Yu-Gi-Oh, by the way. If I've told you guys before, I think my first foil, my first pack that I opened had uh, Harpy Lady Sisters inside from Metal Raiders. 2002, here we go. Can we get a foil card? If we can't, I understand Yu-Gi-Oh gods. The gods have blessed us with some extraordinary pulls lately. If you guys wanna check them out, the uh, ultimate rare card that we just got in our rarest, one of the rarest Yu-Gi-Oh cards was insane. Okay, super ultra secret. We got the Little Swordsman of Ale, Block Attack, Cocoon of Evolution, Musician King, Mass Sorcerer, that's crazy, and a Tune card as well, Tune version, Insect, Soldiers of the Sky, Hunter Spider, Ocubeam, and Castle of Dark Illusions, if you guys all remember that episode of Yu-Gi-Oh, man, shoot the catapult turtle at the gravitation ring and it falls on all of his monsters, <laughs> crazy, always love that episode. Okay, this is it, you guys. Last few packs here. I think it's time for a another tournament pack one. You guys, you guys thought I was setting it to the side over. No, 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 no. It's coming. It's coming. Can we get a rare? See, like I'm. It's so hard to pull foils out of here, you guys. And I just don't even know where this has been, where it's came from. But this is 2002 first season Konami logo tournament pack, and we're opening it on camera right now. And let's see if we can at least get a rare. Come on. Here we go. The Yugi Boy. Again, I think this is my first time. This might be the first time I've ever opened Tournament Pack 1, you guys. I just want to make a note of that. This might be the first time I've ever opened Tournament Pack 1. Wodan, the Resident of the Force. Have you even seen this card, you guys? This is crazy. Increase the attack of this by 100 points for every plant type monster that's faceable on the field. Wow. Ocelot hero number two. TP1. No, no, baby. A rare goddess with the third eye. That is beautiful. That is straight out of the pack. We did get a rare from tournament pack. That is gorgeous. You can substitute this card for any one fusion material monster. Wow. Goddess with the third eye. That is straight from the pack. Mint condition, beautiful. 
go ahead and set her right there. And I think it's time for McDonald's pack, you guys. So from the 2002 booster packs, McDonald's pack is the last pack that was released in the year in December, while the Blue Eyes pack was the first, Legend of Blue Eyes, obviously, first set of Yu-Gi-Oh. This is it. This is that McDonald's pack from the video, you guys. Is it a foil card? Like I said, I think the Supers were one in five and the ultra rare Millennium Shield and Cosmo Queen were one in 10. Can we get a foil card? Yu-Gi-Oh! Three-legged zombie. Actually, I kind of happy I got this guy. Um, a pair of friendly skeletons, lean and fat, that travel with extreme difficulty. There's actually a story behind this card. This is the Uni Zombie. I think that's the name of it. Um, card that has been recently printed. It's one of the best zombie cards actually in the game. Um, I think it's Uni Zombie. But yeah, if you guys look at this picture, it's the same two monsters. I should check out the different arts. It's actually pretty cool. And Frog the Jam. Wow. Not this time, McDonald's. Not this time. Go ahead and set that pack right there. Okay. Well, no foils this time. Like I said, the gods have blessed us lately with some amazing, amazing cards. This is the last pack of Destiny. This is a Legend of Blue Eyes booster pack. Can we get a foil? Give it to us. Kaiba! Perfect. Here we go. Wow. The first Yu-Gi-Oh set ever released. Come on, you guys. Believe in the heart of the cards. Right here. Right now. Legendary Sword. Dark King of the Abyss. The Dark King of the Netherworld. Fiend Reflection number two. Bird Beast, Spike Cedra, <laughs> and a rare Goblin's Secret Remedy. Wow. Yummy. Witty Fan. Oh man, I love that card. That's in a few episodes. I think this was the uh, OVA episodes when they were transferred to a different world. Was it in the original manga? I think that's where she was pretty cool. Witty Phantom. Kagamusha, the first six samurai right there, you guys and dark energy. Oh my gosh. That is a LOB booster pack. Beautiful. Wow. Honestly, you guys, that was pretty amazing. I know we didn't get anything good this time. And again, the Konami gods have blessed us um, very much so recently, or the Yu-Gi-Oh gods, I should say for this one. Uh, so definitely check out some of those last videos that we had, you guys, where we pulled some amazing cards. But this was, a nostalgic experience that I truly enjoyed, but maybe next time we'll get some amazing classic cards. So stay tuned, you guys. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. Subscribe for more epic Yu-Gi-Oh! videos and super unlucky signing.